have the M4 iPad Pro and I'll be taking you through the process of the first time boot and setup of this iPad. So we're going to be setting this iPad up as an independent device. We're not going to be transferring any data from any other Apple device. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to switch it on is just long press on the power button in the top right corner. So just long press on that button until you see the Samsung look, I mean, until you see the Apple logo, and then you can let go and allow the iPad to boot up. So this is what you're going to see immediately. And so if you swipe up, you'll now be presented with the option to choose language. So there are plenty of languages you can choose from. I'll just choose English because that's what I'm going to use. And then it's going to ask you to select your country or region. Again, plenty of countries and regions to select. But it's properly detected that I'm in Kenya. So I'll just select that and then it's going to set up my language. And then I can choose the appearance I want, depending on how big or small I want the font. So the default is here. If I want bigger, you can actually see the preview. If I want even bigger, you can see that. Now I'll just leave mine at default. Of course, you can change this later in the settings. So I'll just leave it on default and tap on continue. And then it's going to start looking for nearby devices for me to transfer data from. Now, like I said, I'm going to set up this independently. So I'll just choose set up without another device. And then I'll choose written language, written and spoken languages. So it's going to be English, 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 everything. If you want to, you can customize that. But for me, I'll just tap on continue. Now, the next thing you want to do is log into your Wi-Fi network. So the iPad will automatically scan available Wi-Fi networks and then prompt you to log into one so i'll choose this wi-fi network and i'll put in my wi-fi password after typing in the password just tap on join and it says it may take a few minutes to activate my ipad so i'll just be patient now most of the time your iPad is going to require a software update. So you can either update now or later. Now, because I want this setup process to be short, I'll just tap on update later, and then I'll continue with the setup process. So we have the data privacy, I mean data and privacy. So read that and tap on continue. And then we're setting up the iPad for myself. Okay, you can set up for a child in your family or set up for yourself. So I'll choose set up for myself. It's going to ask me to register my face ID. Okay. So basically you can just tap on continue and set up a face ID right now, or you can set that up later in the settings. So I'll choose set up later, but then you have to create a passcode. So once again, I'll just create a simple passcode just for the sake of this tutorial. It says this passcode can be easily guessed which is true. So you might want to use a much better passcode that's not easily guessable. But for me, since I'm just making this tutorial, I'll just re-enter that same passcode. So you need to enter your passcode twice to verify and then let the iPad do its thing. Now, it's gonna ask you, do you want to transfer your apps and data from an iCloud backup or from another iPad, maybe from a Mac or PC? from even your Android phone, or if you want a fresh start or just start on a clean slate, just tap on don't transfer anything. So tap on that. And then you'll have the option to sign in with your Apple ID. So I'll just go ahead and put in my Apple ID username and then tap on continue and then enter your Apple ID password and then hit continue. Now, there might be a verification request. So if you receive it on one of your other Apple devices, just go ahead and allow. 
for instance i've received it here and i have this code that i have to use to verify so i'm just gonna enter that now keep in mind that i'm still starting on a clean slate only that i have to verify my apple id so once it's verified you should see the terms and conditions which you have to read and then agree and now it's signing me in to my apple id On this next screen you shall see make this your new ipad so it's gonna ask you again to transfer uh if you want to transfer anything in terms of settings you should have the same settings you had on your previous device so just tap on continue at this point and then it's going to ask do i want to set up mobile service this is basically cellular data basically putting a sim card on your ipad i'm just going to choose set up later in settings and confirm by tapping on skip then eventually you are welcomed to your ipad just tap on get started and that's it that is a simple setup process for the new m4 ipad pro so that's the interface that's what the new oled screen looks like it's really good Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.